Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. We have breaking news. Uh, contacted this morning by some friends in Washington, an emergency uh, request to speak with us regarding a bill called the People's Ledger. The People's Ledger is a bill that is trying to be passed under the radar right now, and the Biden administration doesn't want much of the public being aware of this bill because the People's Ledger will totally, radically abolish all of our personal bank accounts and put us under a one digital currency, no longer the U.S. dollar, unless we the people stand up to this tyranny that is going on in our country on multiple fronts. But now the tyranny is about to hit you right in your bank account. And so I was contacted this morning, given that information, they're trying to push it through the Senate and the Congress as we speak. And this lady right here, Saleh Amarova, is the very chief person behind the creation of this bill. The Washington Free Beacon wrote here, Biden banking nominee and Lenin scholar is fellow at pro-China think tank. Saleh Amarova attended Moscow State University on a Lenin scholarship. Now, oddly enough, I think a picture speaks a thousand words, but let's look at a few things here. President Joe Biden's pick to regulate the nation's banking system is a fellow at the think tank that one of the Chinese government's propaganda agencies has touted as helpful to Beijing's foreign influence efforts. Saleh Omarova, who received a Lenin scholarship at Moscow State University and has refused to turn over the theses she wrote on Karl Marx in the 1980s, joined the Bergen Institute last year as senior fellow. Institute promotes progressive causes and has developed close ties to Chinese leaders. Bugren's position on China has earned praise from Cyberspace Administration of China, which touted a relationship with Bugren as an opportunity to influence foreign audiences. This is the latest in a series of controversial uh, controversies for Omarava, who, whom Biden nominated to lead the office of the comptroller of the currency. She has already faced resistance to her nomination from the financial industry, Republicans over her alleged anti-capitalist policy positions. Very true. Uh, Amrova proposed radically changing the banking system by having the Federal Reserve accept bank deposits instead of private banks. She has also proposed the creation of a massive New Deal-style federal bureaucracy to oversee the nation's infrastructure projects. Her proposals have garnered the endorsement of the Liberal Sierra Club, which hopes she'll, she'll use her pat, a perch as bank czar to regulate the fossil fuel industry. Amrova's pros, praise for the economic policies of the Soviet Union has raised eyebrows in Washington, D.C. Amrova said in 2019 the Soviet model of state-controlled salaries had eradicated the so-called gender pay gap. Wow, isn't that interesting? And who controls the Federal Reserve? Uh, yep, that little country though over there in the Middle East, and of course all of the oligarchs all over the world, that are controlled, unfortunately, that give such a bad name for the Jewish people are those bankers that are controlling everything. Yeah, I guess they're already broke, busted, and now they just want to go ahead and put everything under the IRS, which, by the way, the federal government and the IRS would then own your bank account, your new digital communist bank account, mind you. They would own it. Let me listen to uh, Senator... Uh, Senator uh, Toomey, as he speaks about on the, on the state floor, let's see what he has to say about this nominee. Mr. President, I, I rise to address the recent announcement from President Biden that he intends to nominate Saleh Omarova to be comptroller of the currency. Now, Ms. Omarova, if she were in fact confirmed to be comptroller of the currency, she'd head up the agencies that is responsible for chartering and regulating national financial institutions. So that is to say she would be the head of the primary regulator for America's national banks, of which there are very many. 
I just want to provide this morning a brief introduction, a glimpse into the mindset of this nominee. I will take more time on future occasions to delve more deeply into some of the things that she has advocated for and written about and um, that I find extraordinarily disturbing. I think many of my colleagues will as well. But let me start um, with just a few observations. First, just little doubt, Ms. Omarova has been celebrated on the far left for promoting ideas that she herself has described as, quote, radical. That's a point we can agree on. These are very, very radical ideas. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen a more radical choice for any regulatory spot in our federal government. I know that is a very sweeping statement to make. I think I can stand by it. So there's a lot that's extraordinary and radical here, but maybe the heart of it is Ms. Omarova doesn't just want to tighten regulation of banks. That's not what she's advocated for. What she wants to do, and I quote, this is her words, effectively end banking as we know it, end quote. Those are words she wrote just last year. This I think that sums it up there in a two minute synopsis there for you about the best we could possibly do for Sally Amarova from uh, Senator Toomey. And uh, we need to get more people up on board doing something about this. Ms. Uh, Amarova, by the way, is um, uh, been frequenting the halls of the White House uh, more recently, and so definitely in good cahoots with the Biden administration. This paper here, uh, the People's Ledger, how to democratize, written by her, how to democratize money and the fi finance the economy. Uh, she notes in there, talks about the COVID crisis, under, uh, underscored the urgency of uh, digitizing sovereign money and ensuring universal access to banking services. It pushed two related ideas, the issuance of central bank digital currency and a provision of the retail deposits accounts by central banks. So there you go, cashless society. I already knew that we we're going to be moving to that. That's already been brought to my attention already, and they're looking at trying to do this mid next year. But there is a major debate going on right now in the circles at the White House and behind the scenes of whether or not they're going to put everybody zeroed out to nothing or a little small amount in your account. And that's what you get. And then you just kind of go from an even kill from that point on. Or are they going to allow you to have what you've already earned in your life and put that in your account? That's how radical this is. Here at Wikipedia, they put on here, Public policy advisor who was nominated to serve as the comptroller of the currency to, uh, by, by President Joe Biden. Also, Amarova previously served as an advisor within the Department of Treasury. As I mentioned to you earlier, I was already told that the IRS will own your bank account. Yeah, days of cash are long gone. Another article here on MSN Money, Biden's pick to run a key bank a, a regulator runs into Democratic resistance in the Senate. Thank God to hear that. The Senate Democrats are fractured over whether to support Saleh Amarova, Biden's indicated choice to lead the Office of Comptroller of the Currency, jeopardizing her candidacy. Now you need to do more than jeopardize it because they're already passing her, her little bill that she helped outline. So President Joe Biden's pick to run the Washington's most important banking industry regulators might not have enough support for the confirmation in the Senate. Senate Democrats are fractured over whether to support Saleh Amarova, Biden's indicated choice to lead the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, jeopardizing her candidacy. So you might have some Democrats there that might have a little bit of brains to realize, hey, the ship is sinking. This is a very, very serious situation, friends. And if we don't take the time to reach out, and as I ask the question, what can the people do? Because it is believed by friends in Washington, if the people really make a stand, this can be overturned and buy more time. So the suggestion was to call it your congressmen, your senators, and let them hear your voice, that you oppose the people's ledger. The bill that they're trying to pass that will abolish our bank accounts. And I'd even go a step further and go ahead and oppose the nomination of Saleh Amarova. 
but make sure you let them know you know what they're doing. You know what the Biden administration is doing in behind the scenes. And I'm not here for either side, Democrat or Republican or independent. Just make sure you contact all your representatives and let them know where you feel on this issue. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Got a special broadcast coming, very special interview for you today. We're going to be doing that in about 45 minutes.